afternoon, we have an art fair going on here next to Isuzu showroom in Duncan Basti. Right now, we have with us the organizer, the Wandering Mind, which is located in Midland Colony of Dimapur. So, Wandering Minds is an art institute, basically where they inculcate the practice of art, especially with students. And here they have organized the exhibition for around three days, showcasing the talents of the students and like-minded artists. So we have with us the organizer. Hello, please. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Lanu, and as she has mentioned, I'm the administrator of Wandering Minds. And yeah, we have this uh, event going on for three days, and it's an art fair. Been in Dimapur. Okay, uh, we started it off in 2018, so it's basically now almost five years now. And then our institute, where we offer our diploma and degree courses, it started in 2020. So yeah, we see a lot of Japanese-inspired artists being displayed. So what do you have to say about this? Uh, the thing is, uh, our young people we get influenced, and so we can't stop that. In, and then, yeah, as I've mentioned, anime and all the Japanese culture and all the Kore Korean culture, it's coming up and it's getting inculcated. So it's a mixture of everything. So what happens is even the artists here, the students here, they get influenced by all this. We can't stop that. So that's why we can see all this Japanese influence, art and everything. How far has been the response of the customers and the buyers and like? Okay. Uh, Fortunately for us, like the response has been really good. The people are coming in and then we see a lot of buses by just going in the vehicle and then just looking at it and in awe, right? Because they have not seen something like this, especially in, on the streets right now. So it's, it's a really good response from them and we are really like positive about it. What is the strength of the students in your institute at the moment? Uh, right now, including the degree courses, students and also the apprentice and short-term courses. So it's a mixture of everything. So it's around uh, 70 to 80 students right now. What are the courses in broad uh, scheme or? Uh, in short, we have like short-term courses, like three months or six months like that. And then apart from that, we also have an apprentice course, which is something that we created for those students who can't pursue their academic studies. And also we have uh, the uh, BVOC in fine art, that is Bachelor of Vocation in fine art. So it's like a three years course. What we see here is a beautiful representation of our culture. So what do you have to say about this and the artist? Okay, uh, it's done by one of our senior most students, uh, Cricket Junior. And then it's more like a uh, mixture of both traditional as well as mandala and then a little bit of everything. Like I said, it's more, we get influenced. That's what I said, right? So it's more of that. And then we can show that, uh, we can see that it's a representation of Angami, Angami tribe and then the patterns that are here, it's mandala. So they mix, mix, it, mix that up. And like, to add to that, actually, for us Nagas, we don't have our own art style. When we see an artwork, we don't say, oh, this is Naga art style, this is Naga style. So that has been something that we have been trying to teach the students to, in, to create something which is in Nagaland and something done by our students only. And so we, we are trying that as well. So it's more of an experimentation. Is there any other collaborators that has joined hands with you? Uh, regarding the collaborators, yes, we have uh, Mixpick and also Providence Institute. And apart from that, we also have uh, the uh, Ian Studio as well. Ian Studio is our senior most students, and then we want them to be independent as well. So we are pushing them to create their own studio, create their own team, and then that's how the Ian Studio is. So we have those three collaborators, Ian, Mixpick, and Providence. See, it's like this. Uh, it's difficult in a sense that we do say that people in Nagaland are very artistic, very talented. But no one is ready to pursue it to the next level. We just stop. We just stop somewhere with Instagram being an Instagram artist. That's where we stop. So we need to like uh, break that. We need, we need a breakthrough. And apart from that, the artists that are here, we are very shy. In the sense that we can't come out of our comfort zone. Right. So if we can break that, and if people can actually support us by actually visiting such places and then encouraging the students, you don't have to buy, it's fine. But just coming and then interacting with the students, oh, this is good, or oh, your artwork is this, if they can interact with the students, that'll be a great, that, that'll really help the uh, artists here in Nagaland. Apart from the fact you are the proprietor, are you yourself an artist? It's a very long story. I'm actually not an artist myself. I did my master's in English, actually. So, but 
uh, it's we uh, like my brother, my elder brother. He's the artist. And then apart from that, we also have friends who are artists. So we collaborated, and then we decided to do this. And like I said, artists they are shy, so they sent me in the front to talk about all this for them. They, they do their work technically. They are like very. Uh, they're technically very strong, but when it comes to explaining all this and explaining their problems, there's a connection, uh, there's a like misconnection there, right? So I'm the one who has to be in the center and then connect the people and the artists. So I think Wandering Minds is like that only. We're trying to connect the people and the artists. But it'll be going on till Saturday. So I would really like the people to come and visit. And like I said, it's not necessary that you have to buy the things that the artists are doing here. It's okay, just come and visit and see them and then see them in their field see them uh, in what they do best né? and then them being here it will really boost for the students because when they see people coming in they call me oh, sorry, people are coming people they rush like that né? so those things are really important for them right now